All right, next snippet of the video, we got the valve body off. There was three chat balls, bam, bam, and bam. We've already got the third accumulator plug, which is a common mod. We got the one, two accumulator housing. Oh, look at a mess. One, two accumulator housing. Let's see if it's blocked. Nope. She's active. All right, zap that bolt out real quick, Bruce. Next great find is the letter X. This X plate, that means it's a Grand National separator plate. Good. Holes don't look like they're too big, so I probably will be able to reuse it and, and do my calibration to it. Next snippet is we're taking out the center support bolts. This transmission has been hot. The reason I can tell is this gasket is glued. Usually they come off. Governor time. All right, this is a Grand National Governor. Very rare you see this come from a place like Transmission Depot and have the correct stuff in it. Great, I'll still wait, match it, pin the spring when I rebuild it. All right, we're taking out the servo. Stock Grand National servo. Boom, she's out. Checking for mods. Come on, baby. Okay, servo's out. This is a Grand National servo. Somebody has plugged that, which is a common mod. Uh, and then there's a washer in there, which is another common mod of controlling band clearance. Um, somebody tried. They did a good, looks like they did a decent job of building a medium performance 204R. 